What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Susie. I am back with part two of the Tomb Raider DLC and we are looking suave as usual. So we are down in the cellar. Things are looking a little bit creepy but we are still trying to find the information to get to the library. So I haven't seen anything Okay, so that's actually going back to the start. I love the way she does the animation with her hands there. So I think we are going the the other way that I was saying to go. Now, as far as I'm aware, there is another DLC in which I can cover. I don't think I'll have time to do it tonight, but I'm going to try and get this one done as quickly as I can, and then we can go back to the main game. Okay, so use the servant's passages to reach the library. I gotta say, I'm a huge fan of Lara's outfits. It doesn't seem to be working down here. Can I have a look in here? Yeah. Do I need something? A crowbar. This is very puzzly for a DLC. Alright, let's go. really strange environment so yeah I've seen one other person uh, put the DLC on YouTube but they did it as a stream so I wanted to kind of break it up and make it more story based for you guys plans for adding electricity to the manor dad used to say his granny hated all the bright lights Ooh. Hmm, there's a missing page there's a missing page where we got one three could be the start to the safe code Amelia left tonight she packed her suitcase and walked right out of here, and I didn't even notice. Like those days in the Oxford Library before we even met, I just had my nose in a book lost in my own world. I am such a fool. I have let my obsession with this damned ritual of long life rule my better judgment for far too long, and it may already be too late. How could I have not seen this coming? I've made this mistake over and over, always putting my research before my personal life. But it's never hurt like this before. I simply cannot live without her. If I have to give up this accursed quest that has plagued me for so long, then so be it. I am going after her, right now, tonight. Wow. But where did she go? So there's a lot of secret passages. Wow. Okay. Dad's ledger has to be in here somewhere. Hopefully it has the combination to the safe. All right, so we need to search for the combination in the library. Now, there is gonna be a lot of information in this library, so I almost feel like I don't even need mm, to be here. Need something to light this. Yeah, we also need a lighter for down the stairs. So let's take a look at this one first. I've created a clever little map for Lara's birthday expedition. I used the invisible ink Amelia picked up for me in Morocco so many years ago. At the time, I remember being so annoyed by that rather aggressive street vendor, but she just smiled in her sunny way and paid him without a second thought. I assumed it was just a tourist scam, but it actually works. Turns out, it requires a very specific kind of vellum and a heat source to illuminate the ink after it's dried. It should prove a nice challenge for Lara to puzzle out. Okay. So that's going to explain the lighter on the fire. Okay. Damn you and your puzzles. Can I go this way? No. Okay. Master key. I'm still guessing that the master key is just going to be... Here's Sir Reginald's helmet fellow. Oh, didn't I put it back properly? Yeah, the master key, no doubt, is just gonna be in the, the safe, I'm gonna say. This music is familiar. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I remember that from the earlier games.
I can go up there. Oh, let me up. Wait, can I not get up there? Oh, there's boxes. I must be able to move this, the... I can move the stairs, though. Took quite a tumble off of this old thing when I was a girl. Still feel it in the shoulder from time to time. There we go. Yeah, this definitely reminds me of the little hidden thing that you could do in the um, in Tomb Raider 2. What? Why are you making that noise? That was freaky. Whee! Okay, so let's see if we can move this back this way. It's quite nice to do this with the Tomb Raider music going in the background. I still think that she's probably had one of the best, like, upbringings, I would say. Wait, what is up here? God, there's so much stuff to go- oh, is that another page? Hmm, blank, except for the image of a key. Hmm. I remember this map now. It leads to the master key, but we made it with a special kind of invisible ink. It could only be seen with the heat of a fire. Hmm. I think I stashed one of Winston's master keys in here when I was a kid. Master key. Okay, so we definitely need to find a lighter. That's what we gotta find. So luckily we are picking up all this good stuff. So hopefully around here we're gonna find the lighter. For God's sake, memorize the combination, you fool. Lara's expedition treasure, my favorite painting by Amelia, the day of our wedding anniversary. Okay, got to find those objects to figure out the combination to the safe. There's something else here. What? What else is here? Dad's lighter. I don't <gasps> remember him ever using it though. Examine to find hidden information. The Croft family crest and initials BC. I wonder if this belonged to my grandfather. Okay, so can we actually use that on some of the stuff? Okay, should be able to light the fireplace now. But will it have anything in it? Oh, it does. This should help me read the map. Right, let's have a look. I can see the map. Looks like the key is hidden under a trunk near the bookcase. Under a trunk near the bookcase. X marks the spot, as they say. Okay, so that's the... the trunk. Push it. Yeah! Found it, baby. Where have we? Can I pick that up? the master key. This should get me into the West Wing. There's still a lot of stuff though that I haven't actually explored. So... Alright. This should open most rooms in the manor, including the Forbidden West Wing. Quite excited to see what's in the Forbidden West Wing, but I don't really want to rush this now that we've got the key. I still want to look around. I've reached the monastery. As Roth predicted, it was hidden deep in the Himalayas. And now that I'm standing on these high stone walls, I am overwhelmed by the sheer beauty of the mountains that surround me. It is simply breathtaking. But what adds to their spiritual majesty is the truth of this place. The monks welcomed me, as is their way, but they seem to expect me. They must have known someone like me would eventually come seeking answers. I know this is the place. They've conducted the ritual before. I have seen the evidence, the distinctive symbols carved into the floors, the art displayed on the inner chamber's walls. They've created the elixir before, and they will again if I can convince them. I sent Amelia a message straight away. I want her by my side for this discovery. Hmm, 
Dad was looking for an elixir. Was it the elixir of life? Hmm. But also, did she just go to the show to do her painting or what? This is my handiwork. I used to love drawing pictures of tigers. I want to know what you guys used to love drawing pictures of Spent when so you were many kids. hours in here, reading, dreaming of my own adventures. Yeah, and now you get to go on adventures all the time, lady. All right, so let's have a look at this. One of Winston's notes. He always hid sweets for me to find. Jaffa cakes. So many people in America have never had Jaffa cakes before. So it's like crazy information to me. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. Hmm. Now, let me see, let me see. These two myths are referencing the same source material. But where did I see this image? Dad, I think it's this one, in the chapter on Egyptian districts. Why, yes, I think you're right, Lara. I remember the page with the illustration of Ra. My goodness, you've been paying attention, haven't you? This could be an important breakthrough. Does this mean I'm your research assistant? That and more, my darling girl takes me back. Those were good times. The best times. Aww. This was always one of my favorite books in this library. I used to trace hieroglyphs. But is there any keys on the inside? Nope. Um, oh, is that something? I think I actually missed reading something over here. Yeah, I did. I missed this book. I always accepted that Richard's rather unorthodox research was just something I had to live with. But, but this time, the thrill of discovery has taken hold of me. I never imagined I could be drawn in this way. Richard Cable to tell me he's found the monastery. The symbol we deciphered in the scroll was the key to its location. I don't know if I honestly believe that this will lead to the fabled elixir of life, but I can't help but feel that a great secret awaits us there. My brother was threatening to shut down the expedition, but I managed to talk him down for the time being. Now I am going to meet Richard. I would bring Lara if I could, but she's still too young. She'll be in good hands with Winston, and when we return, her parents might just be a bit more famous. I almost feel like though, that her parents were more interested in not so much the fame of it, but I don't know, their own dreams. And it's as if they just sort of had a kid and Lara was just sort of thrown into it all. In a way, they seem really selfish. This picture was taken in the library. Examine to find hidden information. 1820 additions to the main hall in progress. Hmm. Hmm. I just got a trophy then, so I wonder if that's everything in here. Let's have another quick look around. So obviously we've found a key. And there's quite a few doors around here. I feel like the first door we want to go and look at is the one that's up here. Because I don't fancy going back down through the cellar. That's gonna freak me out a little bit. Oh wait, we can go in here now. The Pharaoh's crown from my birthday treasure hunt. How old was I again? Six, eight? Hmm, I think this hieroglyph corresponds to a number, but which one? Hmm. Okay, so that's gonna be in relation to that book that we found downstairs, I think, with the two bird symbols. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all we needed to do in this room. So we've got the two, and now we can get out. Okay, Dad's clues mention Mum's paintings and their anniversary. Hopefully I can find some answers in the West Wing. Alright, let's go and have a look. So, 
We can also go downstairs, which I think I'm going to do just now because we have the lighter. And even though we're not allowed in the West Wing, we're obviously going to go in there just now. But let's just have a look and see what we can do with this. Hmm. Nothing so far. Ooh. I'm excited. It's like going in your parents' bedroom and you're not allowed. Everything is like destroyed. This is strangely beautiful. Really? Strangely eerie. Oh! oh okay, Laura, keep it together. I'm starting to see things. Oh my god. Ghosts! No! My lord, we all hope your work was well received at the conference and look forward to your return. As is so often the case with these missives, I wanted to call your attention to an incident involving our little angel. It seems that Lara has been the subject of some ridicule amongst the other girls at school. From what I can gather, some of the other young ladies were teasing her for being too much of a tomboy. You know how Lara can get when pushed into a corner. Let's just say they won't be bothering her again. But I do think their words have had an effect. I believe Lara has been missing her mother lately. She's begun to worry that she isn't like the other girls. And having grown up with only a father, it shouldn't come as a surprise that she has trouble relating to them. I wonder if this new friend of yours, Anna, is it? Perhaps she might prove a welcome influence. It might be worth bringing her to the manor to meet Lara. In any case, I'll let you decide the proper time to do that. Please travel home safely. Yours, Winston. He's very nosy. To be fair, I grew up a tomboy, and I'm not going to say that it did me any harm. Mum's atelier. Dad sealed it soon after she died. Untouched for years, exactly as she left it. Wow, so this is her art room. It's kind of beautiful. All right, let's get some clues. I stood up to my family's criticism, stood in defense of Richard and our love. But as my new life began in Croft Manor, doubt set in. How could love flourish in these cavernous halls and endless passageways? Had I made a terrible mistake? I have never been more delighted to be wrong. Richard welcomed me to the manor, my new home, with a game. It was a clue, written in jumbled words from five different languages, but it pointed the way forward. The next clue was a seemingly blank piece of parchment in the kitchen, where the heat of a candle revealed a message written in lemon juice. I followed each step, grinning like a child as I solved his riddles and chased the trail to its end. A white cloth stretched out on the lawn where a picnic was laid out. <laughs> we laughed and ate, and my doubt vanished with the last of the morning mist. Love can and will endure. I agree. Sometimes I feel like you have to go through and you have to make sacrifices, you know, in order for things to really work. Mum's paintings. Which one was Dad's favorite? Hmm. Uh, guess we're gonna have to find out more clues on that one. I returned home this afternoon to collect the last of my paintings. I suppose I should say, I returned to my family's home. Atlas was there, in one of his foul moods. And even as he dripped venom for Richard with his cruel barbs, I could only laugh. To think that I once listened to my bitter brother in matters of my own happiness. My dismissal only served to infuriate him more. I left him there in father's study, muttering to himself. On the drive back, as Winston took a longer route through the country, I looked through my paintings. Richard's favorite one among them, a simple abstract with blocks of red. I smiled thinking about giving it to him. I was happy and I was going home. Okay. Hmm, blocks of red. Dad's there you favorite go. painting. Maybe something about that painting will help me figure out the combination. 
Maybe. It seems to have four blocks. Blocks of red. I can't see anything else. It's amazing what some people class as art. And what some people class as just absolute nonsense. I mean, to me, that picture is nothing special, but to somebody else, you know, that's their everything. Mum with me is a baby. I've never seen this. Hard to believe I was ever that small. Wasn't that one of the clues? No, I don't think it was. What about this one? I don't have any memory of this. I wish I could remember doing this. Mum died too young. Hmm. Okay, so I can't see... Anything on that picture. There is a lot of clues in this just to get a safe combination. I can imagine this being an absolute nightmare when it actually comes down to putting everything together because we're probably going to have to go back through all of this stuff. Lara arrived tonight, though not without a bit of drama, but all is well. She's a healthy, beautiful baby. I've never seen Richard so happy. I'm sure he'll be celebrating with his favorite whiskey tonight. It's calm and peaceful now. Just the gentle sound of the rain and the small, sleeping breaths of this new life I hold in my arms. Lara, Lara Croft, my darling daughter. It's hard to put into words this feeling I have. We share a connection, something I never expected. A love so powerful and pure. Someday you'll feel it too. No matter where you go or where you find your place in this world, we will always have this connection. Aww. There's something so soothing about that woman's voice. I don't know what it is, but it's like, she could talk me to sleep. This was for a show in London of Mum's work. What I wouldn't give to see this today. Hmm. It says here, Amelia Croft plans to show her work in New York. I wonder what happened with that. I just can't believe that... I don't know, I just... I feel like... Her parents were just so... Wrapped up in themselves. It's you crazy. You almost got it, darling. Here, here. let me let show, show you. Like, like this, like see? <laughs> well done, Laura. Well done. I wonder how my life would have been different had she lived. But how did she die? Why do I not know how she died? Oh, there's nothing there. Okay, so is that... I feel like that's everything in this room. I'm glad oh. I still have so much of Mum's work. This is still creeping me out a little bit. What's this? Such a beautiful house and they're like doing nothing with it whatsoever. Okay, so search the master bedroom for the remaining clues. I'm really hoping there's gonna be no jump scare. It's really gonna ruin it for me. I believe it took this trip to push me over the edge. I've been able to see Richard in his element, seeing him at his best and his worst. I've experienced the purity and chaos of his passion. And I came to realize I want his passion in my life every day. <laughs> so it's done. Richard wanted to wait another four days until my birthday, but I wouldn't have it. Once I make a decision, I prefer to get on with it. So we found a small chapel in Luxor that was just right. And with Roth and the others at our side, we married as the sun set over this remarkable land. Mother will never forgive me. Atlas will forever resent me. But I don't care anymore. I'm free of De Mornay obligations. Free to pursue my own passions and live my life surrounded by those who will encourage and challenge me. I'm excited for the future, whatever it may bring. Tomorrow, Rich and I return home to London as the Crofts, forging our path together. Right, so that's one of the main clues right there. A 
Amelia would not have approved. That alone should have been the end of it. But I am, as God made me, a stubborn fool. I locked all the West Wing's doors, and I shall not open them again until either my life or my obstinacy comes to an end. The night before, Roth told me I would someday change my mind. Like a broken arm cast in plaster, he said. The wound would heal, and we would someday shed the bandages to be whole again. The metaphor made me furious. The clumsy way he cast our loss off as nothing more than an inconvenience. There is wisdom in his rough words, but I've done what I must. Perhaps one day, Lara will throw back the doors to let the sun shine in again. Maybe she will find her own sense of peace in this place. So I'm guessing after... At least that old thing still works. I'm guessing after Amelia died, he just shut off this entire thing because he didn't want to see it. Which is fair enough. I am bursting with pride. Amelia is with child. It is amazing how everything in life can change with such a simple event. Obviously, we don't know the gender, but already we've discussed possible names. Perhaps Benjamin, after my grandfather, or maybe Griffin. He was more infamous a Croft than even me. No, Amelia wouldn't have it. Besides, she's certain it's a girl. She favors a, a classic such as Scarlet or Kate, though I've made some headway with Lara. A subtle nod to the sun god Ra, and our days in Egypt where certainly this child was conceived. I find myself thinking about this new life we've created, of how much she might be like us. For all my research into myths of immortality, I may have ignored the most obvious answer to the questions that plague me. We live on through our progeny, our genes, DNA, experiences, passed through the generations. Perhaps this is the simple truth of eternal life, and I've just been too stubborn to accept it. That's proper sweet, though. I discovered the secret to immortality without even knowing it. We're only here to pass on our genes. What is that, a bracelet? Mum's wedding ring. I always wondered what happened to it. It's beautiful. Right, where is this info we are looking for? Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, no. The inscription is faded. Uh, yours. Is it faithfully yours? I'm sure it says faithfully yours or something like that. What about this? What's this? My mother's perfume. The smell. So familiar. I can almost remember her. I don't know what it must be like to lose a parent. It must be the worst thing in the world. Absolutely horrible. Hmm. Mum, on her wedding day, she looks so beautiful. There's a date, October something. Damn, the number is faded. The anniversary was in October. Which day? My birthday's in October. There's got to be another clue somewhere. I bet it's October the 5th, same I as my birthday. This. Dad gave it to Mum on her birthday. So is there a number on this? <gasps> October 13th. They got married on her birthday. October 13th. Mum's birthday. No, they got married four days okay, before her birthday. Is that it? We've got all the info? What about this? After everything Atlas has done, how could you tell him about the expedition? It's just all been too much. I needed to talk to someone. He's still my brother. I don't trust him. You don't have to, Richard, but please, trust me. I'm sorry, my dear, but I know him. He'll take it to the papers. The investors will pull out. Then go. Without me, tonight. I will take care of Atlas, and then meet you in Tibet next week. I was so young, but I still remember that terrible argument. It wasn't always an easy road for my parents. Okay, let's have a look at this. I think this was Dad's pocket watch. Is there a number on it, maybe? Time? Hmm, looks like it stopped precisely at midnight. 
That's really interesting. That is proper freaky. This is dad. I suppose it's a family tradition, but I can't imagine having one of these made of me. No, screw that. <laughs> that is proper freaky. All right, so is that a note? No, I think we have picked up absolutely everything in this. We have all the clues that we need. We've got so much information on, excuse me, on her mom and dad. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this part here and when we come back, hopefully we can put all the clues together and open that safe and then find out what's gonna happen. See you guys in the next part. Bye guys.